Hello! This video is going to help you with your rhythm, with your reading and your writing of musical rhythms. Uh, so the rhythm that we uh, started at the beginning of class was... And then that was broken down into, well, we can have cappuccino, coffee, coffee, tea, with the start of the word coinciding with the beat. So if the beat was one, two, three, four, cappuccino coffee coffee tea and then it's together with a beat right so um improving rhythmic literacy even using just those three different types of crotchet the quavers and the semi quavers you have got a whole bunch of different options right so for example you could go you could have them all as cappuccino you could have uh, one two three four cappuccino all is coffee, 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 or all is tea, tea, tea. You can then mix them up. Tea, coffee, cappuccino, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, cappuccino, coffee, coffee, cappuccino, cappuccino, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, and so on, right? We, we could be here for a long time in this way. Um, but once you get used to seeing what they look like, and I'm going to ask you to zoom in again on the notes themselves, you can see that the crotchet stands alone with a stick like that. The quavers, they are joined together. So they are actually worth half a beat, right? That's worth a full beat. Kind of makes sense. And so these are each worth, that's right, a quarter of a beat, right? So... Um, they are uh, signified here by this. They've got two lines at the top. And so when we see that and when we see them grouped together like this, we know that they are semi-quavers. So we've got semi-quavers, quavers and crotchets. So have a go at making your own. OK, and then writing down maybe your own version uh, of cappuccino, coffee and tea in, in your own way. OK, let me know how you get on.